What is Roma? I think more importantly, you should ask, who is Roma? Every company has a vision, but few of them are defined by its people. For many companies, their people are rarely able to be free in themselves. Without a culture defined by the people, happiness is highly unlikely. Here at Roma, our culture is our most valuable asset. Here at Roma, people are encouraged to be themselves. Here at Roma, our vision is defined by the people who spread happiness every day. It wasn't always like this. Turn back the clocks two years, and Roma was a very different place. Hi, I'm Joanne Simons. I am the manager of the customer care department. My name is Len Mamolini. I'm a regional sales manager with uh, Roma Molding. John Lorendi, I'm the marketing manager at Roma Molding. Two years ago here at Roma, it was not a very pleasant environment. The walls were very sterile, there was no personalization. Everybody from my coworkers to my peers just all seemed miserable. At the time when I was here in the, uh, in the past, there was a, a bad apple that was a controlling type of person and forced us to do things that we didn't want to do. My previous job was, was more of a corporate atmosphere. It lacked any culture and sort of this, that mentality where it was more focused on uh, assignments rather than goals or vision or mission. It did affect my personal life because I'm normally a very upbeat, happy going person and I just found that being in an atmosphere that was so unhappy and miserable day after day, eight hours at a time, I brought that home with me. That energy carries and, and you know you notice a significant difference when you go home and you're you know not to say depressed but just to say unhappy or unsatisfied. So it, it was approximately one year into my employment here when I decided it wasn't for me. So I decided to leave. I actually resigned. I gave a two weeks notice and started counting down the days. That particular rotten apple made it difficult for a lot of us to, to run our day-to-day -day lives and also to, to be honest at work and, and I made a decision to move on and do something on my own. So fortunately, during my exit interview, the HR manager heard and really listened to what I was saying for feedback and she asked for me to spend time with the executive, which was Tony and Joey, and truly share my feelings with them, and I did. And it was at that point that Tony shared with me his dreams and wishes for the change in the culture that he knew was possible, but was just really trying to wrap his head around how he was going to uh, deliver that to the company. Eight years ago when I originally left and I, I've pursued other uh, things in my life, I got a phone call from Sean Danaher who said there might be an opportunity at Roma Molding and would I be interested in taking a look? And Sean had mentioned to me and he said, you know what, Len, things are not the same here by any means, they're totally different. He said the culture's uh, changing and it's changing, it's changed and it's changing every day. I had an email from Tony after I'd asked him about, uh, about a book recommendation and uh, he asked if I was happy. And I just, I realized that, you know what, I, it was time for a change. And, you know, it was just so happened that Roma was, was looking uh, to, to, I guess, make a change in that area as well. So everything just kind of aligned. So he asked me to, you know, kind of take a gamble with him and see if I could hold on and see change. So I took the risk and I stayed. And now, you know, I'm gonna be a lifetimer here because there's been so much positive change. I came in for a quick talk with, with Tony and, and John, and from there we settled up, and I was back here within uh, two weeks of our original discussion. I don't think I would have uh, joined Roma if I didn't see a culture change. I, I wasn't leaving because of monetary reasons or benefits or, you know, they treated me very well. The whole reason for me moving to Roma 
was, was to, to, I guess, gain a sense of self again, to be happy outside of work as well as inside. The biggest change has been the interaction within the co-workers. We have all become much more personal with each other. We are quick to work as a team. What makes Roma unique is, is it's, it's a lot of fun day to day. We come in here and we work, yes we do work, but we come in and we have fun. We joke around. There's a, there's a different aura, there's something, there's a buzz and I can't explain it. There's a big buzz and things are always happening. The culture here is that we're continuously trying to better or up ourselves. You know, at first we lowered the cubicle walls. Then we started adding decorations and fanfare to the ceilings. And truly we just keep upping the culture here. Roma's unique because of its people, because of its culture. And you know, a lot of companies don't really understand that, that culture word. Um, and I say that because it, it, it all spawns back from what something that my father said to me when I was a lot younger. He said, as long as you treat your employees well, you will be successful. And I think that's something that you know, Roma is insistent on, is people first. If your people are happy, the company will be successful <laughs> and everybody will be happy. My team here in customer care, they know when I'm having a good day or a bad day. They know my cat's name. It's really a true family atmosphere here. The thing I like about my manager is she's funny. She's great to be around. She's very caring and open. She makes you enjoy your job and makes it a lot easier because you can always go to her for anything that you need. She really, she embraces the change. She encourages, as you can see, the, uh, the decor. The more fun you have at work, because we have so much fun here, it doesn't feel like work, so when I go home, I'm not stressed, I'm not tired. It just, it makes your home life happier if you're happier at work all day long, too. Well, Lenny's a great friend uh, through the years of knowing him in our past life here at Roma. And Lenny is part of the culture, the new culture at Roma. As the company changed from 15 years ago, he came back, he, he fully embraced the new culture with his humor, his laughter, uh, his looseness, and his friendship uh, throughout the whole company. Having John as my manager really allows me to push my own limits to reach goals that I didn't think were possible, and also just really to have a lot of fun. We laugh and we joke around, and when the work needs to get done, it gets serious, but in the end, we're always there for each other. So that's what's important, and he gives us freedom to do our thing and grow and learn, and that makes the biggest difference. Hi, I'm Tony Guerreri, and I'm the CEO of Roma Molding. Well, before the culture change here at Roma, um, it, it looked very different than it did today. It was a place where people didn't want to stay and, and have fun and, and work together and collaborate. It was so much so that uh, I myself was checked out of my own family business. What drove the change uh, here at Roma was uh, the fact that I didn't want to come to work and I, and I was trying to figure out why don't I want to be here? These are wonderful people. Um, but something's wrong. And then I looked around me and I seen others not wanting to be here, not wanting to come to work. And what happened was I actually, along uh, one of my trips in Las Vegas, I uh, encountered a friend who gave me a book and that book was Delivering Happiness by Tony Shea. So I took her up on the offer, I read the book in three days, I couldn't put the book down. And as I was flipping through from page to page, I kind of uh, seen a lot of similarities in my life. and. It, it all had to do with culture and immediately when I you know, figured out through Tony Shea's book that culture is really the driving force within your organization, it quickly became apparent what was wrong in our company. And I just was so compelled to learn more. So I actually um, looked up Zappos online. I seen that they had their Zappos Insight section and you know, I signed up for their two day bootcamp. And, uh, next thing I knew, I was on a flight to, La uh, to Las Vegas and visiting Zappos. And I will tell you, it was, it was actually a surreal moment where what I believed work to be was actually real. It was actually present and people were actually doing it. And at that moment, I knew in my heart that if we played our cards correctly and adopted culture as a root, as a fundamental within our company, that this was possible for us too. Culture's got to be in you, it's got to be real. 
that initiative cannot come from a CEO. It's got to come from an entire body of people. And I believe today, you know, looking back 17 months from when I did that trip, life here at Roma is totally different. So when you're having fun at what you're doing, it ultimately leaves you happy. And when you're happy, you then go home and spread that happiness to your families. And then your children are happy and your spouses are happy and your friends are happy. And imagine the world, uh, what a world we would live in if this just spawned everywhere. So Zappos, thank you for the opportunity to spreading happiness into my own personal world. You've changed my life completely. And I'd like to think that you've been instrumental in changing the lives of over 150 um, team members here at Roma and their respective families and their respective communities. So your reach is far beyond even your expectations of what you've been able to do in the world. And for that, I'm eternally grateful.